Ready? Yeah. So welcome back to the um, the Boomcast Expendables cast. <laughs> where, where, where AJ rants about the Expendables movie. It's bad. In a continuation of our uh, last Boomcast. It's really bad. Even if you're like, oh no, but it's like an action movie. You're just you're not supposed to take. You know, you're not supposed action, to take it. Action movies don't have plot. Yeah, but that's the plot wasn't the problem. It was. Cause like, can you explain? Can you explain? Um, let's say, uh, first blood, Rambo, the first movie. Can you explain the plot of that in one sentence? Yeah, there's, it's easy. Yeah, uh, guy does. A guy gets arrested for no reason. Who was a soldier, and then uh, they just try to kill him for no reason. They try to kill him for no reason. But the thing is, there's a, there's a plot. Yeah, I mean that's fine. There's a loose plot, but the thing is, try to explain try to explain the loose plot of the Expendables three movie. Well, no, they he, they want to kill Mel Gibson. Yeah, but the way they did that. <laughs> that's fine. No, look, look. Here's the thing. Bad. I'm not complaining about the story, because there's not gonna be. There's a story. not gonna be a story. Yeah. But like the way they went about things, like stuff didn't even really look that cool to me. Well, the thing is, Mel, Mel Gibson wasn't even that bad of a bad guy, as we said in the other, yeah. in the in the last uh, in our last Boomcast, that I, Mel Gibson wasn't a bad guy. You didn't you didn't hate him. I think I think that was I think that was done on purpose, but I don't think they they, ex- they executed it well. Yeah. They never really showed him doing anything that bad. Besides shooting Terry Crews in the butt. <laughs> but he got shot in the chest. <laughs> He's really good with a gun because if you, if you could shoot somebody in the butt and hit him in the chest, it's pretty good. Because you know you couldn't have two black people in the same team. Apparently. <laughs> also, the minute Antonio Banderas got on the team and he was crazy, Blade stopped being crazy. <laughs> Wesley Snipes stopped being crazy. <laughs> Which is what we were talking about. When, uh, you really, Wesley Snipes was all jingle jangle jingle Yeah, jangle. what happened? I don't understand. Like, <laughs> none, none of the characters were consistent. Like I would have been very happy if, uh, if Couture. Uh, yeah, Couture was the one who got shot in the chest. They'd be like, "Oh no!" <laughs> oh, oh no! Jet Li wasn't in it really. Well, he wasn't really in the second one. But they said he was in this one. Yeah, they also said he was in the second one. It's like I don't know. <laughs> he actually did a fight scene in the second one. No, he didn't. He shot guns. Did he? Yeah. Oh. I thought, I'm pretty sure I saw him, like, trade blows with someone, at least. I don't like, remember. Like, he took a guy out. I just remember him, like, jumping off of the plane to, like, go... go That's to, it. That's all he did. Yeah, to, to go bring the Prime Minister home or whatever yeah. that guy was. Oh, I also like in every Expendables movie, Arnold Schwarzenegger has to wear um, aviators and a leather jacket. Because Terminator. <laughs> I have a leather jacket. Yeah, I know, but, like, I just think it's really funny. They keep on pushing that. It's either he's, either, he's in a leather jacket or he's in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> He's fat! <laughs> That's what happens when you're fat, you wear Hawaiian shirts. It's just, it's just Do you wear Hawaiian shirts? No. Well, the exception to the rule, I guess. Well, yeah, I'm fat Fonzie. It's, it's different. I wear leather jackets and, and I slick back my hair all the time. So, yeah, it wasn't a good movie. No, I, I very I got, much. I got bored, which is weird because, you know, there's supposed to be explosions and shit. There wasn't even that. Well, I mean, I guess in the end there was a bunch, but I mean, eh. There's a lot of weird stuff. It's like, if you are going up again, I don't know, if, if you're storming a building, why would you bring dirt bikes? I think uh, the United States is a bit behind. We don't have a dirt bike squad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because this country did. <laughs> this country needs a dirt bike militia somewhere. What happened to that? Because <laughs> uh, up in Kazakhstan, apparently, they... They have a dirt bike militia. Yeah, they have a tank squad and uh, dirt bikes. And then uh, there's special ops that come in from the roof because they like repelling. Yeah, yeah, everybody repels. Even <laughs> even the even the the tanks repel. <laughs> the motorcycles repel. Everybody repel. You never come from the ground because that's where you, that's where they think you're coming from. This movie, this movie, this is this is the movie for me and AJ when we're watching that entire sequence. Jingle jangle, jingle jangle. And then and then we make fun of that for a second. There'll be silence and there'll be. A boots oh. in boots. <laughs> okay. That was, every, that, was the, that was the word we said the most. The entire, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Spendable three. Okay to move. Oh, okay. Like, 
<laughs> Mr. Rester Stone is running from the collapsing building. Both of us at the same time. Okay. There was a, there okay. Was a, there was a scene where uh, I think it was some Rester Stallone he was running, but he wasn't running very fast. So like, you, you know how like in an action movie you're running and explosions are happening in front of you and behind you. So Rester Stallone, the the explosions were happening in front of him, but it was just he could have just stopped and like it would have been fine. Like, oh. Also, how do these tanks know where he is? They're pretty far away. Heat seeking. Okay. Or, I don't know. Ita- <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ita- okay. Italian singing. Okay, 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 okay. The movie. Okay. okay. It's like, oh, I, I smell pizza sauce. <laughs> so, Expendables 3. Out of 10, what do you give it? Like a 3. <laughs> yeah, I give it like a 3. Guardians of the I give Galaxy. it like a 4. Oh, no, no, wait. There's one more movie that we saw. Guardians of the oh, Galaxy. Okay, well, let's go back. Guardians of the Galaxy. How many out of 10? I give it a good, solid 8.5 to 9. It's good. I'm going to go 7.5 because it, eight, that, eight, that eight, plot eight, device eight, really eight. bothered me. Yeah. Because you didn't care about the characters. And that's like that's I mean, the thing about movies. Yeah. You care about people. Yeah. Because connections. Like Avengers did it. Uh, but then, you know. But the thing is, they, they came out with... They did the, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. Did the, they did the sitcom thing. The, the, the Game of Thrones thing that we talked about earlier. Where they came out and did individual... The movies, yeah. Individual but, movies. I, mean, they came I out don't know. I just, I just think that, that they could have done the character development a lot better. Yeah. So, yeah. Seven, eight. Seven out of five. Yeah, seven, seven, yeah, out, so seven, 7.5. 7.5 out of ten. Seven point five. out of ten. Eight, eight, eight point five out of ten. That's how many cool beans. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Seven, seven point five cool out beans. of ten cool beans. Yeah. Oh no. So wait, we'll do the difference. So eight cool beans. <laughs> eight cool beans. 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 Guardians of the Galaxy. Eight cool beans. So you said we saw another movie. Sabotage. Sabotage was horrible. <laughs> You're talking about plot devices that didn't make any sense? There was no plot devices. There's no plot? I was just confused the whole time. There was no plot. Why are they angry at each other? I don't know. They all look like meth addicts. Remember, remember there was this scene where uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was going in with the with the detective to to this guy's <laughs> mobile home in the in the in the forest. Oh, wait, wait, what did you tell him what it's about first? Okay, fine. Sabotage so is uh Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? And he has this team of uh, dudes. And they all they, badasses. they're all badasses, and they're all they all work for the DEA. So whatever, Narcotics. whenever there's anything, whenever there's anything drug related, that's uh, with gangs and shit, they you send Arnold Schwarzenegger's team, and they they do that stuff right, and they're all good at their job. And they all like they can even go undercover. Yeah, which is what they've been doing under the covers. So so what happens is that they go in for this job, and they steal some of the the drug money, right? And when they go to collect it, it's not there. Somebody stealed it. Yeah. And then that's the movie. That that's what uh, yeah. And then like suddenly they're all they're all they're dying because they, yeah. they don't know. Yeah, someone's killing all. Someone's them all. killing all of them. All. So, so Arnold Schwarzenegger is like, oh, like this. Um, he sees all these people dying. He's like, okay, I have to go to this one guy. Spoiler this movie to save their time. <laughs> this is the one time you want to spoil it. So he goes after this guy, and he has this um he has this like mobile home in the middle of the forest. So the movie doesn't tell you. But they go straight to a cut of a flashback, and you get confused as shit. Because all of a sudden it goes from Otto Schwarzenegger and the detective girl going up to the thing, and it cuts straight to guys gearing up to go storm into the thing. What they were trying to do was they were trying to show the audience, like, oh, this is what happened. And, like, oh, maybe this is happening now. But they did it so, like, weird and, like... And sudden. Yeah. And there's no, there's no, there's no... Because usually when there's a flashback, there's usually some type, some sort of It looks different. Back. Yeah, it looks really yeah, it looks different. But this one, no, no, everything looked the same. And they used the Doom first person GoPro on your gun thing, and I like that. I hate that shot so much. <laughs> it didn't work in Doom. It's not gonna work for you unless your movie is called Call of Duty for the booty three. Okay, you, right. you should not use that shot. <laughs> So unless you're on YouTube or but yeah, unless you're YouTube and you don't have anything better to do, because fine. I guess because uh, yeah, that's a shot. That's I guess. A, that's a shot. But if if your budget is more than a million dollars, don't do that. Do not put the GoPro on the gun and do this. That's that, that's very annoying. <laughs> so they just cut, and the entire time I'm asking Andrew, "Where's Arnold Schwarzenegger, the detective girl? They should help this guy out." <laughs> <laughs> Because I mean, so were you useless? Were you so? Were you super confused? No, no, I got it. You right. got it. I got it. I right did away. it. I did got it. it right I was like, where are they? Well, there, there's gunshots going on. Where are they? 
Hey. It's so bad. And then they cut straight back to Arnold Schwarzenegger. And there's nothing going on. And he like looks at the I'm car. I'm going to tell you this to save you the hour and it's a so half. Bad. It's so bad. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the one that took the money so he can kill the guy that, that, that killed his family. Yeah. There. No, not spoilers. Because you did a f- no we, one knew. I, no I, one knew. I'm helping you either understand the movie if you're gonna go watch it, or saving you twenty dollars and ninety minutes of your life. So don't, and, it's, and it's not like The Departed where you're not supposed to understand the movie. Like the, okay, if you if you want to be super confusing and like really crime greedy, you watch The Departed or The Corrupter. Watch those movies because you're not supposed to understand. Now you are. I got it. No, so did I. But, like, you know what I mean? It's supposed to be one of those movies that you think about. But The Departed was so good. <laughs> Alec Baldwin. Chow Yun Fat. Ch- no, he was. No. No, The Departed. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Alec Baldwin, Marky Alec Mark. Ma- Marky Mark. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. So good. So good. So good. There was no one point in that movie where I was like, Oh, no, so no. boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and I hate movies with like a bunch of talking. You know, I, I I really don't like movies that are just talking, but that one I like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Cook is one of your favorite movies. <laughs> That's yeah. a movie I'm all about. Talking. But they're, they're doing stuff. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing funny stuff. But yeah, exactly. So yeah. Um, so, sabotage. How many cool beads would you give that? Two. I'm giving no beans. <laughs> You, you don't give it any beans? <laughs> no beans. What? When you, when you have a scale, no, you're supposed to put it on the scale. But I paid to watch that movie, so no beans. No beans? No beans. <laughs> no beans. If, I, if I watched it on... Okay, okay, if I watched it on Netflix, I'd give it a bean. Okay. I give it I give it two cool beans. Okay, so let's do Because I'm pretty sure there's... Like, like my friend the Bernard. <laughs> my friend Bernard is probably a one cool bean. Cause would you rather what would you rather watch my friend Bernard or or sabotage? Watch sabotage. Cause he goes my friend Bernard sabotage. Colombiana's in the middle. I like Colombiana. And on the top is the Departed. The Departed is so good. That's 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 our scale of action movies. <laughs> the Departed. Can you do that? <laughs> Can you just do that? Wait, but you, better. can't you just watch The Departed? Can't you just I make could, it just like that? I could, but can we use James Franco in it? Wouldn't that make it worse? Maybe, maybe not. I saw Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Oh, I didn't. I want to see that. Some of the best CG work I've ever seen. Yeah, I heard. It's good. Like, you don't notice that... You don't notice the CG, which is really nice. I want to watch it, but I'm afraid of monkeys. The first scene is a close up of the monkey's eyes. See, so I'll like, scare the shit out yeah. of me. Because so, <laughs> it starts with because, a, and yeah, and, it and, starts in a thunderstorm with this, and then just the monkey eyes, and you're like, <laughs> and that movie is like my worst fear. Monkeys taking over. Yes, monkeys taking over the world. Because James Franco did an incompetent job. Well, dude, okay, but I, I like that. I saw that movie with, it's with good. my brother. I really like that movie. But one thing that bothered me was James Franco was a doctor. I know it's an actor, but James Franco not doctor. It's really weird. It's like when I watched um Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. And Charlie Day. And Charlie Day was a scientist. I was like, but ah! in that in, in that universe, you could believe Charlie Day. Is yeah, a that you know, I guess fine. Like, if I didn't pay attention to that one fact that, that Charlie Day was... <laughs> the, first time, the first time you heard this voice, and you're like, well, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, because one plus one to pie is, is 17,000. Tons of movies this summer. Yeah. Good, good, good summer of movies. Unfortunately, though, the next topic, one of my favorite actors recently died. Recently passed away. Robin yeah. Williams. 65. But, you know, at least his daughter, at least his daughter's 25. You know, at least he didn't die when his daughter's, like, 10. I guess, but, yeah. I mean, it's like, that guy did, like, so much. Like, he volunteered a lot of his time to uh, going overseas and entertaining troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And entertain he did for his life. I really liked that because he was, like, the most economical actor. Because he did all of the voices. If you were doing a... a Happy Feet. Featuring so and so, so and so, and Robin, and Robin Williams, Williams as all the other penguins. <laughs> as all the other penguins, because he's Cause you just, amazing voice actor. You don't have to. You don't even have to write lines for him. You just like okay, go ahead. Um, I recently heard because like you know he's he's a nerd. Yeah. Really into really into anime. Really into. Yeah, I heard. Uh, 
He had a bunch of Robotex. And Evangelion figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ghost in the Shell, Cowboy Bebop, Evangelion are all, like, his favorites. Yeah. Um, everyone in the anime community is obviously like, oh, dang it. But, like, um, everyone in the video game community, um, for Nintendo specifically, because he named his daughter after Legend of Zelda, mm-hmm. um, they want him in the newest game. Mm-hmm. They want someone named Robin in there. And Nintendo's like, we're thinking about it. But since we're in the middle of development... They can still do it. They can still do it, but they're like... We well, got it. Just do it. Um, mm-hmm. Over a, a thousand, hundred thousand people signed a petition for that, and I hope I hope he's in the newest one because that yeah, makes they'll sense. Yeah, they'll probably do it. Why wouldn't they do it? Yeah, because you know what I mean. Like that's yeah. he he did commercials for them. He like named his daughter after that, and it's like it's it's good. It's good for it's good that people want to like remember him as hardly as hard as people do, because you know, very prominent actor, did did so much. One of my favorite movies of all time. Aladdin. No, this is Doubtfire. Oh, I thought it, you were going to say Patch Adams. No. Why, why are people saying Patch Adams was his best movie? Or, I thought... Or Bicentennial Man. Yeah, when... <laughs> like, two months ago, if you asked somebody, oh, did you <laughs> like Patch <laughs> Adams, they would get... The, no! <laughs> and then now, because he died. Yeah, I'm like... What? Oh, no, you meant 24-hour photo. One-hour photo. No, I, the, that movie scared me. <laughs> But that, that's when I found out. I was so ha- I was so happy he did that role though, you know. Like, he, yeah, that's when I found out he had range. He had so yeah, so much range. Yeah, but only that one movie. And no, then, but I mean, it was like, oh, okay, <laughs> you're creepy. Okay, as na- shit. Na- now, 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 I'm most afraid of Jake Gyllenhaal and, and you and yeah and Robin Williams. <laughs> that, that's that's the. <laughs> but yeah, he did that one movie, and everyone's like, no, stop it! You're not gonna do that ever again. He's like. I'm going, okay. <laughs> I can act though. <laughs> Just to let you all know, I can, I can freaking act. <laughs> I can act the shit out of anything. But Mrs. Doubtfire, I love that movie so much. I hate Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> good, good. Um, I recently read an article of uh, of how um the plot for Mrs. Doubtfire is creepy, and I'm like, oh yeah, a little bit. It's kind of creepy. I guess. But you know, if you love your kids I mean, that much. Yeah, but I mean, it depends, like, whose eyes you're looking through. <laughs> if you're looking through Robin Williams' eyes, he but just yeah, wants his kids to yeah, like just, him. Yeah. <laughs> he wants his kids back. Yeah, and screw Pierce Brosnan. Because he's a home record. Home record home Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> he's, uh, he's coming out with a new spy movie, I believe. I don't care. November Man, Never Man. Because I hate you. <laughs> just erase it out and move back. I hate you. <laughs> I will always hate Pierce Brosnan. So in your mind, Pierce Brosnan, Brosnan killed Robin Williams? No, no, he tried to take his kids away in my head. Forever. <laughs> when, I, when I watched... When I watched... The 007 uh, movies? No, 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 no. I know. He was really bad in those. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, well, whatever. When he watched... Um, no, um, no, what was that? Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia? Yeah. That's what he did right after. Right after Mr. Right <laughs> Downfire, he left the mom and went, went, went over. Yeah. To home wreck another family. <laughs> Why, why, why does he need these kids for? <laughs> oh, he has all these kids. He has all the kids. He, has all these he kids. wants all the kids. Fuck Pierce Brosnan. So, okay. Wizard Doubtfire, your favorite. Yeah. Favorite movie. Favorite yeah. Robin Williams. Let me... Movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? I mean, so much, I remember we were talking when we found out that Mrs. Downfire 2 might come out. Yeah. And right. you and me wanted to be the two Asian fat kids. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, they're like the grown up version. Yeah, the grown up version. So it would have been so nice. You should put up a Stella of the. <laughs> and then and a Stella of you. Well, yeah, okay, let's do it. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same exact way. Yeah, it's like, okay, what happened 20 years later? There, they're still fat. And they still live across the street? Yeah, they still live across the street. And they're still watching into someone else's home? Yeah. <laughs> For entertainment, because they don't have uh, they don't have TV, apparently, so... <laughs> and they still live together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like they were, they're, they're conjoined. Because you don't see their, their you, legs. You don't, you don't see it from yeah. tits down. Yeah, so, so they're, they're conjoined in my head. Yeah, that's a good movie. Also, the TV show that he did, the crazy one, I really like. I don't know why he got canceled. It's good. I don't it was, know. What ha- I thought it was. Good. I liked it. I don't know what happened. It was funny. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that show. But then I really like sitcoms anyway, so it's like I don't know. No, yeah, maybe it was too too much of a sitcom. Sitcom. I don't know. I like you like you like canceled sitcoms. That's your thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's all, the, all the shows that I like keep getting canceled. Maybe I should stop watching TV. But yeah, I'm super sad. 
I don't I don't know which Robin Williams movie that I like the most. Because everyone's like Aladdin, of course there's Aladdin. I'm like, yeah, but then like, you know, he did so much he did so many other movies. You know, before he like voice acted everything after that. I thought you liked Happy Feet 2. Happy Feet 2 was a good movie. Because it was Robin Williams and all the other penguins. Oh no, which one was the penguin I, I hated? What was his name? The the the, the, the Pierce Brosnan of uh, penguins. <laughs> What's his, what's his name? I don't know. <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen that. He was, he was, uh, I think he was like a Spaniard or something. Right, right, Remember? right. Remember? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. He was Norwegian, I think. Sven! Okay. Fuck Sven. Okay. Screw him. I hate that guy. Screw that penguin. Yep. Hope nope. no one feeds him. Yep. Because he's not really a penguin. Spoilers. He's a bird. Yeah, he's a bird. That's why he can fly. Exactly. Penguins don't fly. No, they don't. Mm-mm. They Penguin, fly underwater. Penguins don't fly, and they're all voiced by Robin Williams. <laughs> Forever. So he, he can't be Forever. a penguin. But yeah, uh, yeah, uh, mm, Aladdin. Yeah, it's up there. I for some reason when I was a little kid, I like the only DVD I had to watch for like an entire summer was Bicentennial Man. And like, I really liked that movie. It's like a it's like a reverse Benjamin Button. It was the first Benjamin Button. It's a fine movie. I don't know. It made me feel things. It's a fine movie. I don't. Yeah. I don't think it was bad. I watched that. One hour photo. I watched. I watched. Uh, I don't know what else. Oh, I know. I know he was a. He was a president in the Help. Oh, I didn't watch. That yeah, either. I didn't watch that either. But yeah, like his. Uh, his discography, is very, is very pronounced. There's a lot of movies that he's been in. But like the greatest lesson you can learn from this strategy is that, if something's bothering you or you're dealing with somebody, you should tell other people. He's been dealing with this inside a lot. Yeah, so I mean, if you're if you feel like you're depressed or, I don't know, you you know you're having some sort of problem, you should tell somebody. Yeah, but the thing is, you know, the the whole thing for depressed people is that they don't want to bother other people. I know, like that that's why. Let's maybe this is his last lesson for us. Yeah. Because there's no other. There's gonna be no more else after that. And it's and it's and it's hard. I'm pretty sure it's hard on the family. It's just like, oh, if I didn't ask him that yeah. one question, or you know, I didn't I didn't press this one subject, you know, maybe things would be different. And that's 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 where it gets you. It's really it's really hard doing stuff like that. So yeah, I hope I hope the family heals as they will, and people remember remember him for what he did because he made everyone else happy except for himself. And that's, you know, people keep on saying suicide is, is uh, you know, selfish. But, like, Robert Williams was, like, the opposite of that. <laughs> so. Wow, that, that, that mood change was really... <laughs> it's just... No, no, we no. We were saying fuck Sven, and then all of a sudden it's like... <laughs> yeah, so, um... <laughs> I don't like Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's very... It's really... It was surprising to everybody. I was at work. I, I thought it was like a joke. I was also at work. Uh, yeah, like when Jackie Chan died. Yeah, when Jackie Chan died. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh no, no, Jackie. Yeah, okay. Funny. And they're like, no, but seriously. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, shh. Yeah. So we're going to end this podcast by saying thanks. <laughs> thanks for everything. No regrets. <laughs> <laughs>